What up? It's Joe Smish. Today, I'm at the Hammer Museum around East LA. I'm wearing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I'm wearing this shirt. It relates to the thing I'm seeing today, which is Japanese art. Let's see what's hip. Check it out. I'm trying to find where the entrance is. I found the parking area. Okay. There's the elevator. Okay. Second floor. Come on. Yeah, I made it. Drawing down then. That's a Harlequin hero. I want those costumes. I did not expect to find my favorite costumes here. Let's see what I could do for Halloween. Sunrise. I did not expect Hammer Museum to be this good. Mary and Jesus? <laughs> this is something ancient. Temple hanging. Pish, Pishvai? I don't know. Uh, with cowherd girls adoring Krishna. And the festival of autumn full moon. Okay. So this is about ancient Indian religion. And I got some Renaissance drawings here. This is a drawing. No. It is. Oh, well, it, yeah, it is. Medieval printing press. Huh. Oh. <laughs> it's like getting museum.
These are definitely oil. Everything's oil here. Acrylic, acrylic was not invented until the early 1900s. Oh, no, late 1800s. Acrylic is not that old. That's my uncle. This is Rembrandt. It's in our history books. There's something remarkable about Rembrandt. I think it's the way he used perspective and shadows and stuff. That's what's remarkable about Rembrandt. Now this gets dark. Wait, this is Impressionism. <laughs> you know that Van Gogh was inspired by Hiroshige, and this is not Van Gogh, although Hiroshige stuff is quite brilliant. I'm learning all these impressionists, impressionists of artists, Paul Gronin, Gowin. I, I don't know how to read the last name. Yo, I found some Mookie Oe stuff. It's by Yoshitoshi Tsukioka. Yeah. I know how to read Japanese because I'm half Japanese. If you don't know. Man, the color composition is kind of is striking. Along with my dress. A lady crying in the river. It's too close. <laughs> it's 2D, but it, but the color is some is very striking to me. Are my eyes too close? <laughs> If you ever played Japanese karuta, which is like a card game, you'll see something like this. This is ahead of the Bushido. They're called like they're called tunnels. They're like kings. I forgot my history. <laughs> This is a well-funded museum. Okay, and this is some other Japanese compositions. Kiitsu, uh, Suzuki Kiitsu. Yeah. Kiitsu Suzuki. Yeah. This is not Japanese, but it's a huge pain. I would do something like this, definitely. I'm currently at the last step in making my own painting studio. Um, I put the lights 
and I made my easel. It's currently on display in my garage. The last thing I need is a table saw so I could, could cut a two by one and make bigger canvases just like this one. This is what I've been waiting for. So it will be my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely my favorite one. It's spectacular. It's Kyoka Yoshitoki. Yosh. Yoshitoshi Tsukiyoka. Dude. This is the best one I've seen so far. It's a spectacular. I'll definitely take inspiration from this one. Like the red is very striking to me. I'm covering this so that the light doesn't distract it. But anyways, the red is very specific to Japan. There's so much action, even with this 2D. Dokoi. Spinning around the globe. Do you see that uh, Tsukioka took three papers? And combined it. I'm sure it took many print prints to and carvings. Yeah, this is color woodcut. This is a gyoya. This is awesome. Three prints. Yeah. I'll give you a quick run through of this Western art. I'm here for the Japanese art. I'm here for my heritage. Go through some other stuff that looks interesting. I think I'm seeing the map of the moon. That's the moon. I don't know if it's our moon or some Jupiter moon. Hans astronomer Hannes Vilius produced the first Atlas moon based on systematic observation for each phase of the lunar cycle. Okay. So it's our moon. If you're a fan of Astrology, astro astronomy, and history of science, you might enjoy this. These are moon phases in our solar system. We have someone praying to the moon. This is all about astrology, astronomy. Stuff. Now, this is just abstract art. Yeah. Damn. I think they use this on the ship. And it's by a uh, a Middle Eastern astronomer, astronomer, astrologer, I don't know, um, Astrola Bay. So this, this is astrology. I do not believe in astrology. I believe in vibration. Vibrations. This is way cooler than I thought. They studied the solar system 
in order to understand about how he came to be. Humans are always curious. Okay, we have the the moon picture. The surface of the moon, 1971. It's taken 1971. It's very clear, even if it's black and white. You know when you're trying to paint or do some crayon stuff, if you needed a reference, you turn the colored stuff into black and white so you can see it. A lot clearer what's the subtle shift in color is. That's a moon crater. Some pots and some dots. <laughs> Olga Frobe, Frobe Captain. I don't know how to pronounce that stuff. A deer. I'll totally dig this for Chinese dinner. I know it's not Chinese, but I think it's inspired by Chinese art. Because the Chinese made porcelain, I believe. first uh, porcelain. It was a revolutionary. <laughs> we have Capitan. We have the galaxies. This is a musician. No. It's a civil rights activist. That's a very dark forest. This is a monk. Wow. If that were a monk. Everybody knows the monks scream. I think he had a mental disorder. It's pretty depressive. Is this one of monks drawing? Maybe. There's a guy playing saxophone over there. This is feminist art. <laughs> I do not like feminism. It does not create gender equality. I'm saying a political statement. It is true. Although, um, I think we can appreciate the art. I don't appreciate the idea, but I appreciate the art. Da dun 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 dun.
But this is super interesting, man. I didn't know Hammer Museum has so much good shit. The color composition is good, man. There's a movie over there. <laughs> this really matches my color. See my red pants? Yeah, cadmium red. Although everything is not feminist art. There's a different gallery, part of the Hammer Museum. Whatever I walked into. She looks like a psychopath. The mugshot. Yep, mugshot. Some guy hanging around the tree. I think this is about the connection with nature. It says uh, this work documents a de demonstration held by the forest defender and activist John Quigley as he, as he tried to disrupt the removal of a 400-year-old oak tree in Valencia, California. Damn. This guy loves the tree. They can't destroy the tree. You just can't. <laughs> this is made of cardboard. Somebody spent hours with a magic pen. <laughs> I'll zoom back. See how big this is. It covers the entire wall almost. A foot apart. A foot apart. Yeah. Educate. Agitate. Arrange? Art. This is band clear cutting. I don't know what that means. I guess somebody was on this ship. This is Los Angeles art. It says, people before profits. I believe in capitalism, but because if you work hard, if you're with the right people, you can make profits and you can make other people happy by giving what you have. People are just too selfish these days. Legalize, legalize my man. Immigrant school teacher here. Immigrants do make our economy better. Without immigrants, our, our economy would tank down to the bottom. I think we accept around 2 million immigrants every year. That's a lot, though. I love the diversity here. Oh. It's 
about rights for trans women. I don't mind them. Sometimes it kind of gets annoying if you're on like a dating website and like they don't tell you if you're, you're trans. Yeah, it kind of gets annoying because I'm heterosexual. I'm just a regular old guy with a propeller hat. Not this time, a bear hat. Sanctuary. Migration is beautiful. So life in Africa. Life's hard. This is all about activism, environmental protection, and people's rights. It's getting hot down here. Ocean, ocean rise, climate change. I am the carbon tax. We all of us are. What I like about being in a museum is I get to explore awesome things alone. I think internally. But I want to share with you, and that's why I'm making this video. Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream tell when we come true. type of art is a political statement because art is a way of communication therefore if it makes a trigger within someone's mind it, it becomes a political thing so no matter what art you make it's you're making a political statement Now we have base check. Nice play. We have a, we have a ping pong table. That's saxophone players hammering down this museum. That's why it's called Hammer Museum. Okay, there are apparently five galleries on this floor and one downstairs. This is really awesome. Thank you. Hammer projects. Bye bye.
Okay, which one's this? Works on paper gallery. Okay, let's, let's get it. Decorate acquisitions. Brazilian art. I've never seen Brazilian art. Maybe I have, but not declared one or discovered one. Just doing a quick run through. I'm going to show you the favorite one. I think it's my least favorite, but yeah, I like this one. French? Person lying on sheets. I think this is some spiritual resemblance. Gigi Smith, Revolutions. I need to do this dual video once in a while. So we can see and know my existence. That's a children's drawing. People, yeah, artists say, I took 40 years to get here. Duh. Okay, the one that I really like is that Brazilian art. Oh. I quite like Jim Shaw. Jim Shaw! Jim Shaw, Jim Shaw. Makes me fine art with Spider Man. <laughs> we have some clown. Let's go see the jazz downstairs. I like this. I have Jasper Johns, one of the leading abstract painters here. Is this a this is a dude? This is a painting. It's not a drawing. Anyways, let's go see the jazz. The jazz. Downstairs. Mm -hmm. Let's go see the jazz. Downstairs. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. Yeah. Wanna be in my vlog? Yeah. Yeah. Joe Smish. Joe Smish? Yeah. Cool. I film art galleries and stuff. No way. Yeah. This is my first time here. Really? Yeah. First time here too. What's your name? Huh? Jemai. Jemai? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Kylie, first time here. Yeah. How how you how you enjoying this? How you're enjoying it? Okay. Yeah, these chairs are pretty. I know. This is fun.
Grande. All these chairs. Tita Sikogni. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I have a jacuzzi? We can't go inside the jacuzzi, right? Oh! <laughs> <Have a jacuzzi. laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and make reservations for the, the jacuzzi. <laughs> how, how do I make reservations for the jacuzzi? Um, we do it online on our website. Okay. So the jacuzzi reservation is full. So I can't do anything. I wish I could go in there. I can't really show you the footage they're showing because a woman is breastfeeding an alien. <laughs> okay, here's a little bit. This will be a perfect date. <laughs> this, is, this is so funny. I was super underprepared for that jacuzzi moment. <laughs> this is the best gallery. Mm -hmm. Anyways, that concludes the journey through the Hammer Museum. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next video. See ya. That's my favorite piece.